So in this video, we're going to discuss preparing our geometry for topology optimization. So on the left side, we have our original quadcopter leg geometry. And on the right of the page, we have the geometry that we're going to input into our topology optimization solver. So we can see that we've kept the footprint from our initial skid legs, as well as the body attachment locations. And we've given some simple dimensions of areas where we're okay keeping geometry. And we've uh, kept geometry outside of uh, this hole in the center that we want to keep for clearance to the, to the battery. Um, so this is, this is the geometry that we'll input into the, our topology simulation. So let's have a look at how to go from the left side of the page to the right. So first let's examine our initial geometry. So we have our uh, total quadcopter geometry where we have our arms, the housing, uh, the skid legs, which we're gonna be modifying, the, the blades and as well as some pins. So before we modify the skid, um, let's um, copy it. So I'm just pressing control C, control V to make a Second skid, let's rename this one skid two. And we're gonna work with this. So let's, we want to, for now, we want to hide everything else besides our skid. And to get started with our modifications, we're gonna wanna split this body. So we really only want to keep these bottom portions of the skid. So we're gonna create some, some planes to help us split it. So this one is, we're gonna rename, this one is Z. Uh, this one is a Z at the center of the skids. And then we're also going to want to split our geometry here as well as on the right side. So we can call this one, this one is in the X and we'll call it uh, left, or sorry, left. And this one we'll rename X right. And so now we want to go, go ahead and start splitting our bodies. So we want to hold this one. So I'm gonna press control and select both bodies, split them. Then I'll click away. I'm gonna select our two bodies again, split them once again using our second plane. And then finally, we're gonna do one more split. We're gonna select here the two bodies again and split them this way. So now we can see our skid geometry has been split into eight bodies and we only want to keep the bottom two. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the other six bodies. So I'm gonna get out of the split body panel, hold shift, select, and delete those first six bodies. So now I want to make the square body that will connect to these legs. So let's hide the skids and uh, select the, the housing geometry. We can also go ahead and hide our planes. So we're gonna come on, we're gonna select this bottom surface and create a sketch. We can come and select the plan view and we're gonna go ahead and start making the rectangles. So the outer rectangle is gonna be dimension 230 by 180. And the inner rectangle is gonna be dimension uh, 140 by 120. And we're gonna uh, make sure that these, these are centered. So we're gonna add some, some dimensions from here to here. Should be 115. Uh, from here to here is correctly, but let's make sure it's exactly 90. Um, from this top to here should be 60. And from uh, this edge to here should 
be 70. So now we have the shapes. Let's just make sure that all of our dimensions are matching. So we have 230, 180, 150, and 120. So actually this one was supposed to be 140. So let's go ahead and fix that. And now we have our geometry that we're, we're ready to, to pull down. So, um, we can, we can hide the housing geometry and then we can e exit from our sketch mode to 3D. And we can see we have our surface and then we wanna pull it until that same Z plane that we created earlier. So let's select here, pull the surface. I'm gonna hit the key U to pull up to the surface. And then we can exit out, we can close here. So once we have this, we want to combine with our skid legs. So we have the our two skid legs here. Um, we want to first we want to, to pull them till the end. So we're going to switch to our pull frame once again, pull up to the edge here. And then we're going to select these two surfaces here to pull up to the edge here. Okay, so now we want to um, combine these parts. So we're going to combine the uh, bottoms with the base. And next we want to split the, the face of these legs in order to have a, a surface to ap apply our force to that will be kept. So we're going to split these two faces with that cutter plane as well as this cut plane and then so we, we have the the one split but I, I want to keep 25 millimeters on each side of this plane so I'm just going to simply move oops move this plane 25 and this plane 25 millimeters in the opposite direction and then we're going to split again so Come back here. We'll get out of that. Um, and we'll split this face and this face. Now, now we can see we have four surfaces on the bottom here that will will keep the these areas for contact to the ground, and and we'll apply the forces through through these areas. So the last thing that we want to do is we want to imprint on the top surface the uh, existing attachment locations to the body. So let's bring back in our, our housing geometry, which, which has those holes. And we're going to go to uh, the imprint tool where we'll simply select, oops, get the whole circle. Imprint these. We can now hide the um, uh, housing geometry, and we have our full full geometry. So we have our um, these these whole locations where we'll apply where we'll keep the boundary and the the base. See you on the next video.